So today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how to throw um, just a simple vase on the pottery wheel. We have a wedging and a centering video on our channel, so if you're interested in those, you can watch those. But for now, I'm just going to cut to when this is centered. Okay, so we're going to start off by sinking the well. It's just pushing your thumb down towards the base. Make sure you don't go through the base and stop before you think it's too thin. So, it's still just thinning at the bottom, not at the top. I'm pushing out here. And I'm just grabbing to the bottom, pulling up the wall. We also have another video just making cylinders. That's something you can practice if pulling up is tricky. And you'll notice I'm keeping the, the top narrow for this. You don't want the top to be flaring out. And make sure you keep your hands nice and wet so it doesn't stick. We're still working on pulling up the walls. Uh, the base is a little, the very base is a little wide. But that can be fixed a little later. I'm just going to make it taller for now. Still keeping the top a little thick. So, just using my finger to kind of go in at the base. And now there's a lot of extra clay there, so I'm going to make it slightly wider. Don't worry if clay comes off in your hand like that. Just thinning the walls out. Make sure you have your hand at the same place on the outside and the inside. Make sure you keep the top nice and narrow. Yeah, keep the top narrow. If it gets off center like that, it's pretty easy to just recenter. You just have to make sure your hands are well braced and it'll go right back on center like that. This is kind of a classical shape. Usually the base is a little smaller. You could use a tool. You can always just use your finger if you don't have a tool. You can get something like this. This is just a simple wooden tool that's angled on one side and kind of curved on the other. And, well, maybe I'll use this side. Just bring the base in. It, it's just taking off that ex excess at the base and making a place for your fingers to go so you can kind of pull up more. So, now, a bit of a challenge, bringing this top in is making it so there's either four, you could just do four with your fingers, or six with um, the knuckles on your fingers, and just bringing this top in. And the part that needs to look good is the shoulder here, sometimes tricky. I'm just kind of pushing out so it's a, a more of a curved shape. It's obviously, it's your own personal preference on how you want the, the shape to look. And kind of cutting this down, because because it's a vase and it's tall like this, it's, you, it can be trimmed, but it's not, it's not like the best option to trim it, because it can be wrecked easily. So I'm just trying to like accentuate the shape a little more still kind of straight up and down. You can take your hand on the inside, try to push this out maybe so it's a little more curved. Another step, you just use your regular sponge if the top is wide enough, but it's best to use something like this if this is like a sponge on a stick kind of. If um, it's a tall vase like this, which I could almost use my hand on this, but yeah, that's just to get the water out of the base, if there is any, and to get the lines out. So now I'm going to use this orange... Rubber kidney? It's Well, yeah, it's a rubber... It's called a kidney, or a rib, and just take off this excess slip on the outside, which there actually isn't that much. Now, finish it up. That leaves some lines, so to finish it up I use this... This is just like a soft sponge. Fine textured sponge. You can use just a regular sponge, but it won't give you as smooth of a finish. Okay, so final tool is this just little piece of cloth. I'm going to use this on the rim just to smooth it because this gives a very nice even finish. I have a wire tool here and just a piece of wood I'm going to put it on. Um, you want to hold this nice and tight when you're doing it. Usually I just wrap it around my fingers because this one's kind of long and hold the other end. 
Um, and then use your thumbs to push down and go all the way across. Don't lift up at the end because you'll get a big ugly mark. This is a metal rib. There are other ways to take um, pieces of pottery off the wheel, but this is how I do it. Um, it's easier if you put some water. So I'm just sliding this under. I don't know if you can see from that angle. And I put my hand underneath. You can touch the side if you want, but yeah, it might give you a mark. It's slippery to pick up a little. And then just set it down. And you get minimum damage to the base. It's still going to have to be touched up later, but it's easier to do than trimming the whole base. Now at this point you could add decorations. You could add decorations when it's still on the wheel before you take it off. But for this video, we're just throwing, and that was the throwing. And we will have a glazing video coming up and decorating, so stay tuned for those. And subscribe if you haven't already.